folks. This week I thought I'd show you my new fuzz pedal. Uh, this is a, a proper fuzz face pedal, but it's built into a tobacco tin, as you can see. I mean, how cool is this? It's even got a government health warning on the side that says smoking may cost you more than money. Fuzz pedals may cost you more than money as well. Hearing loss, perhaps? It's even got 3D printed knobs. I mean, how cool is this? It's made right here in Newcastle in the UK by a guy called George who has a company called Any Electronics. That's electronics with an X at the end. Um, you'll find him on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, he takes orders for these things. Fuzz faces, tone benders, treble boosters, octave pedals, harmonic percolators, all sorts of cool stuff that he makes. Um, and it's, it's really high quality electronics. He's using proper vintage germanium diodes in this. So it's the real deal. Um, and because it's in a tin, of course, you can open it up and um, access the bias as well and, and mess around with that and get even more versatility from it. So I haven't had a huge amount of time to use it so far, to be honest. So this video is really going to be me, first of all, noodling around, seeing what tones we can get. And for that purpose, I've lined up three of my guitars. I've got the Charvel which should be interesting because it's got active Fishman Fluence pickups and a lot of people seem to think that active pickups don't work well with fuzz because the signal is a low impedance signal. So I may have to tweak the bias perhaps for that to work. We shall see. I've got the Sire, which obviously is kind of humbucker PAF type thing. And then I've got my Dan Electro, uh, which has a single coil P90 style pickup in the neck. And then lipstick uh, tube pickups is a humbucker, but you can coil tap it. So I'm probably going to keep it single coil for a bit of variety and see which works best with this fuzz face. So that's the first thing. And then I'm going to loop up some Hendrix style chords and see how it sits in the mix. That's what I'm always looking for with new equipment is, is not just about sitting around noodling with it. It's how does it work for me to create some more music for it to sit in the mix with other tracks or other instruments. So first of all, Here's some noodling.
that's fun. The thing that strikes me about it most is actually the, the versatility. Um, if you back off the volume even a tiny bit on the guitar, it really cleans up into almost like a kind of a lovely tube overdrive kind of sound. Um, and then of course when you do crank it up with the fuzz all the way up and the volume all the way up to drive the amp a little bit, then you get some pretty um, fierce tones. So, after all that noodling, let's do some actual solos within a track. And uh, George has kindly lent me an octave pedal of his as well. He makes these also within um, tobacco tins, but this is his own sort of design. And um, I thought I'd pair it with fuzz for some real Hendrix kind of sounds. So again, we're gonna switch between solos between all these different guitars and see how they all sound with it. Maybe different pickups and things. And uh, yeah, here we go.